Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we're taking a look at the final reward of the Fall Festival prize map. It is the Crazy Colossus. Of course, a variant on the Impending Doom costume. This one I like even better because it's a purple and gold combo. You can even see the gold shining and everything, which I don't think you could see for the other one. There's like no shining effect. Really cool looking costume overall. Lots of detail, really cool coloring. Um, no one can get past his, this imp except those who ask nicely is the description. And I think that's a pretty cool description. <laughs> so you just gotta ask him nicely. That doesn't seem too tough. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead into some turf takeover and see how it goes. All right, so let's get into it. Like I was saying before, wonderful color combination between the purple and gold, but it looks like there's even a little bit of green in there with the, uh, the, just the clothing that the imp has. So overall, I really like it. I can't wait to just sort of get into it and play a little bit more imp. Of course, the last time we did this, when we checked out the um, impending doom costume, we actually got imp to master, so we don't have to worry about getting any more level ups now. We're just jamming out. And I do want to say, of course, the fall festival event has ended, so it is technically Lawn of Doom now. We'll be getting more into, you know, checking that out and sort of seeing what's to offer there in an upcoming episode. But for right now, gotta focus on what's going on. Oh, can I get out of there? Just barely. That rose almost got me. But we're, we're fine, we're fine. It does look like they were able to get the point, but that's okay. We can hold them up for as long as possible, right? Ooh, they get that snapdragon, but this distance, oh gosh, isn't always the best. Okay, who do we got over here? We got some wild flowers. I might just want to move ahead. Oh no, oh no, I might not have the chance to. No, wait, 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 I can get you, I can get you. Ah, they caught up with me. Okay, gonna get him that time, that's fine. Oh, we do get some good experience of Vanquish from the Grave there, good to see it. And we do have our mech at the ready, so I can just throw it out as soon as uh, things get a little bit more intense over there. Yeah, I don't know if we have any daily challenges we wanna focus on. Deal more damage, of course, and I don't plan on playing Citron today, so maybe I should reroll this one. Um, oh, critical PVP vanquishes. So those will happen in time. I'll focus on the damage a little bit. 6,000 is a good chunk, but we should be able to get that done throughout today's episode. So let's get to it. All right. I see a rose over there. I'm sure more plants are coming in soon. So let's get all set up. Oh no. Who was that from? Oh, that's a Snapdragon. That's a lot of my health gone right away. That's not good. Ooh. See ya. Okay. Snapdragon, where are you? Uh, can I get him? Yes, I can. Right before he took me out too. That could have been bad. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. No reviving, no reviving. You get back here. I gotta reload real quick. Gotcha. I know the Snapdragon's about to get me, so we gotta hop out of here. Oh my gosh, actually it was a Citron. Did I say Snapdragon? Oh, there we go. He has his laser right now, but we can definitely damage him down a bit. Oh, he's almost out. Wow, that was great. And that was a critical vanquish times five. We do get a care error challenge completed there, which if I had to guess is probably the um, the critical vanquish one. Interesting stuff. Now that's sort of the unfortunate thing. Getting prize bowls really is not gonna help me much from here on out. And like I said, that might be something I'll explain a little bit more with the Lawn of Doom um, episodes coming up. I only have a few of them because most of that is awards we checked out last year. Oh boy. There's a nightcap we can sort of take out a little bit, but I didn't quite get her all the way. There we go. It looks like they're getting this point though. Maybe I should have put more energy into actually defending than getting a bunch of vanquishes. Oh, hello. Oh, we can get you. And what about the Snapdragon? Where'd he go? Couldn't quite finish him off. They have a lot of plants right now. They're all doing a very good job. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's respawn real quick. Defend the second storm machine is, is coming up. Okay. So they got us there. Let's go ahead and set up a, uh, a hide and shoot bot, the garbage can one. It's a little bit long distance, so I think it'll work pretty well there. Lots of zombies are still up here fighting now. Oh my, oh my. That's an actual player, I think. Got an assist for it, whoa. You know what, now's a great time for the Mac. Plants are moving in. I can delay him a bit here, make sure I don't get turned into a, uh, no you don't, no you don't. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best spot for it. Okay, yeah, that mech got destroyed really fast. Oh, that blue blaze is coming right for me! Ah! <laughs> I just barely dodged it. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, ah, oh, darn. All right, well that's fine. Looks like the plants are on track to win this. They have all the top vanquishers as well. We're the top vanquisher on our team, so we're doing somewhat well. Yeah, while we're getting back to it, I would love to hear, have you been able to check out the Crazy Colossus Imp costume, uh, the final reward of technically the final event? Yeah, now we can sort of recap and look back at this final event. I think that as an event, Fall Festival was fun, but as the last event, I'm a little bummed. You know, I was hoping maybe we could get like a big blowout of some sort, but we didn't know it was coming. It was just sort of the September event began, and they're like, hey, this is the last one. Um, and that's where, I haven't talked about this too much, but where things get really confusing, um, because there have been people who've looked into the file of the game, especially the PC version, and found some unfinished content, and that's something that's been pretty consistent, not just through Battle for Neighborville, but through um, Garden Warfare 1 and 2, I think, is that people looked at the games and find unreleased content before it was released. And a lot of the times, if not almost all of the time, um, that content eventually came to fruition. It would eventually release. This time, though, that's obviously not quite the case. There is confirmed from PopCap that they're not going to be publishing anything more after the, the Wildflower and TV head came out. But yet there were still totally new classes in in the files. One of them seemingly totally completed. There was a new plant class that was some kind of iceberg lettuce, and that's really interesting. And that's usually things I don't talk about too much because I wanna sort of, I usually just don't look at those things in general because I wanna see them when they're released in their finished form and, and form impressions on them that way. Uh, I think that's a lot more exciting personally. Um, but this was definitely a different situation because it seems like this content might not ever come out. Um, so yeah, I looked at it, it seems really interesting. I really hope that maybe one day they'll get the green light to make more content again and we can see that stuff because it seems to be practically completed. So it really is a shame that it, it couldn't make its way out. And I think there might have been several other um, zombie and plant classes in the works that weren't as developed but still were like in the files to some degree. And maybe even new boss fights, I, I'm sort of, can't remember. I think that there was like a playable super bean from Garden Warfare 2 or something crazy like that. There's like a lot of wild stuff that you know, I would really like to see added to the official game at some point, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, back to the, the topic at hand. Um, what are your thoughts on the crazy classes and were you able to earn it up in this final, final uh, event? I hope you were able to, of course. If not, they've already confirmed everything is gonna cycle over again, so you will have next September to, September to earn it up. That's a long wait, but you know, you have all the other events to enjoy in that meantime as well, so should be a lot of fun. And say you only got like halfway through this event. I can now confirm with my progress through the Lawn of Doom that you will at the least um, start right, whoa, what was that? What hit me there? Oh, the dandelion exploded on me. Didn't even see ya. <laughs> Very sneaky. But you will start wherever you left off the last time you were at the event because that's exactly what's going on with me with Lawn of Doom. But yeah, definitely, I think this costume's cool, worth the energy for me to unlock it in my opinion, so yeah, definitely glad we have it now. It's certainly my favorite one out of the entire event. Now that I've showcased them all and checked them all out for myself, I can definitely say that. But yeah, like I was saying before, this event was great, pretty cool costumes. The lack of a legendary hat was a bit of a bummer. So I will say that this, in terms of rewards, while there was some great rewards, the volume of rewards was probably the least exciting out of all of them <laughs> um, because it was missing the legendary hat. So it just simply had less content than all of the other events. And some of the other events even had more than that. Um, they would have the legendary costumes, but it would also have um, legendary abilities. And that's a whole another conversation we can get into is, oh boy, oh boy, hold on. Also gotta focus on playing. Uh, okay, I got you a little bit. There's some people behind me though. Come on, you're going down, you're going down, or not. Okay, I'm in a bit of trouble here, but I can get that kernel corn, right? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, well, I had the reload there at a bad time. But yeah, there were legendary abilities, so all of which were very cool, all four legendary abilities we got, but it would have been so cool if we could have had at least one legendary ability for every character. There was so much more that could be added to this game that just sort of didn't happen, and that's a shame, but what we have is awesome. I won't deny that. You know, just it can be easy to get caught up in what could have been, I suppose. 
But don't get me wrong, I really appreciate what this game is, what it became to be, all those kind of things. Who's over here? Somebody attacking me? I don't know. Okay, let's be careful. Very, very careful. Ooh. Toss that down that way as well. Is that gonna catch anybody? Catches the, the Citron, but he rolled out of it pretty fast. I'm not able to do too much damage to anybody. Oh no, I do not want to get torched up here. Come on, we can get him, we can get him, we can get him. There it is, very good Vanquish. They're still really pushing this out. So I'm going to set that up. I wish I had the mech right now. Gotta take them all out while they're, ah, no, darn it. <laughs> that wasn't good. Very sneaky dandelion there, or, or um, Wildflower using the flower shop. That's actually something I haven't seen. They've added, they changed the ability for the wildflower and TV head um, since that one event they had where you could play as both of them a few months ago. So that, that'll be fun to experience. Not next episode, but the episode after. I'll be checking out the wildflower and the episode after that, the, the TV zombie. Either way, we're running out of time here. Well, I mean, we're supposed to be. We're supposed to make the time run out, I guess. But here's the mech again. I really like the look of the mech with this. This might be my favorite in costume just in general. It's so cool. Okay, time for the missiles. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Okay, I got a couple of shots in there. It's not everything, but it's something. Whoa, watch it. Okay, run, 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 run. Got a lot of teammates around. There's our master level two. Always fun to see. Oh no, oh, okay. Just barely dodged him. Somebody got gotcha. you. I'm going to spawn in a Dr. Heels here. I think that'd be nice. Thought I saw a Colonel Corn drop down. I'm not really sure though. We pushed it all the way back though. We're starting to really take it. And you can see on the top, the switch is changing over. Good stuff. Um, yeah, let's get you guys a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna break dance. I don't know if that was a good spot for it, actually. I did some damage. Oh, no. Ooh, I got taken out. But still pretty good, 24 Vikers. Somebody on their team is 42, though. Wow, that's a ton. But there's still different things I wanna get done in this game, even if the, co the new content is up. And that just sort of depends on how interested you guys are. I could still master all of the characters, showcase some of the Rux costumes, all that kind of thing. Um, there's still, still, still more story mode stuff for me to do. <laughs> I've just never gotten around to it. Because <laughs> the event stuff really did take up a lot of my time to play the game. There we go. And it's also been a particularly crazily busy year, so. There were definitely some times where I just could not put as much time in this game as I would have liked. But, oh gosh, no, that's bad. No, okay, we didn't charge. We got less than a minute to defend this. We can do it. What do we got over there? Looks like somebody, I'm just gonna set up the mech. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. Missile time, missile time. Take on the cactus, my aiming is not so great at the moment, and it just the whole set of health goes down so fast. And I guess the blue blazes, if my mech explodes, it'll refocus on me. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good to know. This far into the game, we're still learning new stuff. All right, 15 seconds left to defend this. Can we do it? I don't know. I'm trying to get over there. Okay, gonna throw that all the way down. And we're getting some damage out. I, I'm trying to get to the 6,000 damage we would need for the, oh, here I go getting go to fight again. The 6,000 damage we'd need for the challenge, but if we don't get that done right now, it's not a big deal. Okay, where are you? I'm gonna get you stuck. You have a friend coming in to save you. I'm trying to dodge all that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah! <laughs> he still had his, his shot there. Not good, and there's still plenty of legendary hats for me to showcase as well. There's still a lot of content in the game that we haven't gotten to just because there's a lot of it. And that's where I'm, oh, okay, it looks like we won. And that's where I'm really interested to hear you guys' feedback, but for right now, we're focused on the new stuff, this, this event stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and move to the next round. So it took me a while to find another round where I could play as the imp, but here we are. 
Hopefully everything goes well, but let's quickly spawn in just some friends to help us out as we push through. We were on defense last time, now we're on offense. Let's see if we can't get two wins in a row then. That would be nice. Oh gosh, oh gosh, gotta be careful. And what's going on down? Oh, this way. Ah! Oh no, that's a problem, that's a problem. Yeah, I did want to talk a little bit more about the legendary abilities and why I think they were a great idea, but really unfortunate that they weren't really um, expanded upon more. We had four legendary legendary abilities the past year. We had one for Colonel Corn, Rose, Super Brains, and one more. Um, what was the last one? I'm trying to think of it. I know it'll pop up. Um, hmm, what was the last one? I'll find out in a moment. I gotta focus on this. There we go. Oh, it's the scientist, the steam scientist. Yeah, okay. So those were our four. And each one of those was really good and would change up the gameplay of that respective class quite a lot, which is really good for meeting one of the main criticisms of Battle for Neighborville. The fact that there are classes instead of variants meant that for a lot of people, they felt like the game just sort of got old quicker. And that was the cool thing about the legendary um, abilities is that they changed the feel so much that it felt like a unique variant in that way. Um, and I think a lot of people really enjoyed that. And I feel like that's why they should have, you know, if they could have um, added an ability for every character, that would have been awesome. And I would love to, you know, as we play through maybe this episode and some upcoming ones, sort of brainstorm what other kind of um, legendary abilities they could have done. For the imp, I'm sure there's plenty of options, especially regarding his primary weapon. I would love to see something that makes him a little bit more like the Z7 imp, um, with that sort of shorter, like one click equals one shot. That's always like my favorite type of imp, was the Z7 imp. Oh boy. Not too much more going on for right now. Oh, there's a chomper coming in, and he got me with that chomp. Not good. All right, well. Let's keep it going. I don't know if anybody, this Captain Edbeard maybe gonna revive me. I guess not, he's not interested. So let's keep moving. Hmm. So yeah, it looks like we have about two minutes to push to this point. Hopefully it goes well. A lot more of like a race against the clock when we're on offense opposed to defense. Time is a bit more on our side with that. Will she be able to go into invincibility mode there? She won't, that's great for us. Oh, come on, come on. Oh man, I got you, but the nightcap gets me. It doesn't help too much if we can't stay on the point and capture it, so. That's what we gotta focus on. But it is pretty cool because I feel like after I get the Lawn of Doom stuff, I'm pretty much set up to go and unlock everything else that's remaining in the game. There's no other um, limited time thing I have not gotten. I check rocks quite often, and every time I check him nowadays, I have everything. So really that means that I have only a couple more things to get, and that is going to be from, there we go, um, the story mode and from the Rewardatron. So obviously I'll be working on that a little bit. I don't know if I'll have the time to showcase everything in this game, but I thought like that the the best constel constellation, not constellation, those are the stars in the sky. Um, the, the best constellation would be to at least say, I got everything in this game. Cause that was something, unfortunately, I was never quite able to find the time to accomplish in Garden War for one, that took a while, that was weird. Go to Garden War for one or two was saying, I got every single item in the game. And, with Garden War for one, at that point in time, I wasn't making videos as much as I make them now, and I was just, you know, I could never really get around to it. Garden War for two, there was just so much content in the game, it just felt like an, an impossible task, even after 400 episodes. Um, and I don't really know too many people who actually did get everything in Garden War for two. I, I know a lot more people got everything in Garden War for one, especially since that game was a little bit more popular. Let's toss that down that way. Oh, maybe a little bit too far of a toss. So I don't know if we'll be able to get this. I mean, I'm trying my best here to break into there, but as one lone imp, it only makes so much of a difference. They have a lot of computer players too, so that's actually, that's really bad that we're not able to get into there. But the newest update did improve the um, AI teammates so that they play a little bit more like real players, um, which I think is probably an improvement to their difficulty as well. 
Uh, I'll toss that down that way. I don't know if that's actually gonna reach anybody. Oh, got the cactus. She just sort of ran right into it. Um, I'll spin around a little bit. Ow. Uh, I couldn't even get him. Darn, they're putting up a good fight right now. Come on, let's keep at it. Oh no, overtime's ticking down. If I can just get in there, spawn in our mech, use that for a couple of seconds, that'd be great, but I don't know if we'll have the time. It's not looking like it, so not a very good round here for the second one. We'll have to uh, move on to the third one and hope we can do a bit better. All right, so we got a new round. We're defending again. Worked out a little bit better last episode with this, so maybe this time as well. I did want to mention as well, we reached two million coins. It definitely has been slower going, earning up coins. Um, recently, I feel, I don't know why, but I mean, two million is still good. Between now and episode 200, we, I guess it's been about 50 something episodes. Two million coins, so hopefully we can get the four by episode 300. And that'll probably be the last spending spree as well. I can't imagine we have that much more stuff in the Rewardatron to unlock. I guess we'd have to wait and see, but oh boy. And that was another thing that I was always hoping they would add, but they never quite got around to, is they never added more content to the Rewardotron. It just sort of had what it had from the beginning of the game. And a lot of people ended up completing that, some of the more hardcore dedicated players, which I admire, but just don't have the time to replicate. But some of them were able to clear out the Rewardotron um, within a month or two, which is crazy. And so that's just been empty for them the entire time since then. And that's just sort of a shame to say. Let's definitely get rid of that Citron. Ooh, he's firing back at me. Come on, come on. They're buying a lot of time here with that. And that's not what we want. So let's switch, switch over to the mech real quick. Oh, that was close. I almost got taken out. Okay, you know what? It's time for the missiles. It's time for the missiles. Get rid of that Rose. Get rid of this Cactus maybe just a little bit. Okay, explode on the Snapdragon, please. There we go. Did that? Why did it? What? Whatever, the, I mean, he was right there and he didn't take any damage from an exploding. I would say like, oh, maybe it's if the mech is destroyed, you don't get the explosion, but I know that's not true because I've been in that situation. I've played as that Snapdragon and I definitely get vanquished. I just don't think the game likes me in that situation. That has happened to me a couple of times now where if that was me, I would have so gotten exploded. But when I explode, nothing. Okay, that one sunflower is very low on health. I'm trying to work on her, but the distance with the imp isn't always the best thing. And they got the point. Yeah, the AI players are actually pretty good now. Gotta be careful of that. Got it. Toss another one down there. Ooh. Just trying to beat him up as much as I can. And at the least, even if we're not playing the best as um, the imp here, at least we're looking the best. This costume is still very pretty and I really enjoy it. So, you know, we can at least rely on that a little bit. But it's also interesting to think, you know, now that we're reaching the end of this game's content, is it time to ask what's next for PopCap and you know, what games they're working on? Of course, they've been working on Plants vs. Zombies 3, which has been quite a silent endeavor. You know, obviously it's soft launched in a couple of countries earlier this year, and we honestly haven't had too much updates to the game since there was like a one pretty major update that personally I didn't like very much. I didn't, I haven't really recorded any more episodes on the game since that update came out, because I just couldn't get into it. Um, but I'm hoping that of course, that'll be a bit more refined by the time the game launches. Um, so, Maybe at that point I'll pick the game back up again. I've just sort of gotten a little burnout on it. Um, but we haven't heard anything about it. It's been so silent. I'm sort of worried it might get canceled. You know, especially with how cut short Battle for Neighborville has, seen, has seemingly been. They put energy into this new content that just totally got scrapped, even though it was very close to being completed. What does that mean for their other projects that are also in progress? Who knows? Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I did some good damage there, but not enough, not enough. Oh, you got me. Yeah, they're playing a good game right now. Hard to keep up with for sure, but we got seven vanquishes. Let's keep it moving. So, we make our way up here. Is this a, a, a normal scientist or is this like a computer player? That's a computer player, okay. But yeah, maybe they are working on new stuff. I know that at some point they had done a very interesting thing where they PopCap posted like a prototype 
mock-up picture of what could be a new game, and they're like, hey, if you saw this, what kind of game would you assume it is? So nobody really confirmed this if it was a real game they were making or more of a, a prototype of a game, but it looked like it was some kind of um, dungeon crawling mobile game, so that'd be interesting to see. Of course, the times that Plants vs. Zombies has dabbled into new genres, it's been a lot of fun. Of course, it started with the tower defense games with Plants vs. Zombies 1 and 2, but you know, since then we've had PvC Heroes and Garden Warfare, which are, you know, totally different games, card games and, you know, competitive shooters, and both of them have been really fun. Um, oh boy, oh boy. So I can only hope and expect that if they are to continue to do that, go into different genres, that it'll continue to be really fun. And, you know, I say it every time, and if I had the chance to say it again, I will. <laughs> if we're talking about new PvZ games, I desperately, desperately want to see a Plants vs. Zombies carding game. Um, I think it, that's something I've been talking about since Garden War for one. I would love to see it, because it has like all the, the cool stuff that Mario Kart has. You know, the recognizable characters, the color, colorful environments, the wacky feel to it. It just, it'd be the perfect lineup for a karting game, and also like a Mario Party style game, which would be fun, but if I had to choose between the two, definitely a karting game. Um, and it just seems like that's like the established franchise thing to do. Every gaming franchise that's popular with all audiences, I guess, um, ends up getting a karting game. Either that's, you know, Diddy Kong, Crash Bandicoot, um, even Little Big Planet got its own karting game, you know? It just seems to be like that evolution. So Plants vs. Zombies would be pretty cool. Even Angry Birds had a karting game, didn't it? I've never played that one. I don't know if that's even available anymore. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in that regard. So I really hope that maybe one day Plants vs. Zombies will do the same thing. I think it would be a lot of fun. Especially if they go the way of like, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, which had so many characters. It had like, what, like 30 or 40 characters? I can imagine that being so much fun for Plants vs. Zombies, just having like a huge roster of characters. And Mario Kart Tour is the same way now. Um, that has like a huge roster of characters. I'd rather not have the same, you know, monetization set up as Mario Kart Tour, but maybe the same uh, amount of characters would be cool. Either way, I'm just trying to wait around for my mech at this moment. It's really hard to bust their defense when they have three Citrons and an Acorn. And most of them are computer players. Oh boy, oh boy, not good. <laughs> yeah, there's three Citrons running around. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. There's there's, a, there's not many real players on the team right now. There's, there's one, two, three, four, five on their team and about six or seven on ours. Yet yeah, they're still winning, even though we outnumber them with real players, which shows you. I probably shouldn't have spawned this in right away, but luckily we can sprint with the mech now. What a cool addition, right? Yeah, I do like the green accent. You can see it a lot more in the sunlight now than you could in the character select screen. Okay, let's get you no problem. Um, I don't know if there's anybody to actually fire these missiles at. That wasn't too bad. Okay, get the sunflower. Get the sunflower, awesome. Feels like I'm playing a private match right now. It's a little weird. Come on, come on. Do a little bit more maybe, okay. Not quite yet. Gotcha. And launch, let's launch in a couple more. Oh, max bulbs reached. <laughs> I'll have to spend more soon. Doesn't matter to me too much at the moment though. Whoa. Ah, oh, they got me with that one. They're slowly pushing this in. Honestly though, I think that we'll be able to get them at the final point. I think that the computer players still aren't very good at doing specific things like that, that the final point normally has. They're fine enough at you know bundling up and pushing the final point, or push, pushing, sorry, the the payload. I'm getting the, the sentence mixed up, but the final points usually have something a little bit more complicated, and definitely this one does with the batteries and delivering them over. So I wonder how they're gonna fare. If they even get there, maybe we'll stop them in the tracks right here. I wouldn't mind. Awesome. Oh, not quite gonna make it over. But yeah, it's also just cool to think about, you know, with it being a brand new console generation coming up, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox something, something, I don't know what it is at this point, I've lost track. <laughs> um, PlayStation's really simple to keep track of, it's just one, two, three, four, five. Um, but, I know that, you know, with Garden War for One, that was sort of a cool thing that was like a big push, is that Garden War for One was like originally 
an Xbox One exclusive for a short time. I don't think they're gonna go the exclusivity route again, but it might be a cool thing if they launch, you know, or at least kick off relatively the new console generation with a new Plants vs. Zombies game, either that be Battle for Neighborville 2 or Garden Warfare 3 or something totally different. And I think I've talked about it a lot in Garden Warfare 2, when we were still playing that and anticipating what could be the next PVZ game. Um, I would love to see some kind of concept where it does play like a Plant vs. Zombie shooter game, Garden Warfare and Battle for Neighborville, but maybe it isn't really like a primarily an online multiplayer shooter. Like maybe that's a part of it, but what if it was like a huge sweeping open world game? You know, and we sort of kind of got a little taste of that with this Battle for Neighborville story mode, but it wasn't exactly the scope I'm thinking. I'm thinking like even maybe Breath of the Wild is too big of a scope, but just something like that, like a totally breathable, livable world that you can explore with the different plants and zombies and do just like a huge storyline in. Maybe, maybe that, maybe I'm the only one who wants that, I don't know, <laughs> but I just think that would be really cool. There we go. Um. Got this rose over here, so we'll see how well they do with actually, ow, getting the batteries. I mean, if the computer players do well enough, the plant human players should be able to just pick up the rest of it without too much of an issue, and I think that's what's en gonna end up happening here. There we go, got a good speed boost. We got more people moving in. Let's spawn in the mech. Here we go. So it looks like they have those two batteries just about delivered maybe. Well, they dropped one of them. I don't know where it went. Gotcha. And you. And this Citron too. Thank you for the shield defense. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the other battery. It was like, it was there for a bit. I'm just gonna hop out. I'm just gonna hop out. I'm a goat now. Oh, I actually got somebody with that one. Maybe that is how it is now. Maybe uh, it doesn't actually do explosion damage unless you jump out opposed to it getting destroyed. All right, let's keep going though. Because it looks like they're starting to struggle a little bit. And we want to capitalize on that. Let's get a Dr. Heals here so that people can retreat and heal up when they need to. Are there plants over there then? There was at some point, we'll get a quick revive on this guy. Oh no, oh no, that Snapdragon's being mean. And that's why I got the Dr. Heals set up. Just stand over here and voila, we got it. Oh, let's get this guy for sure. Put a stop to him, or not. Uh, That's a problem, there's too many Citrons. There's just way too many. Oh, okay, who has it, who has it? Gotta put a stop to him. Oh, I couldn't. They're coming in at the perfect time with just the amount of people. Just go at it. All right. And you know, I really enjoy talking about this topic, so sorry if I'm droning on about it a lot, but if there's like one thing I could have them do, if it wasn't like, if for whatever reason, PopCap can't make a new PVZ game, because I know that sometimes with how EA works, they sometimes like divvy up their employees so that they're working on other projects. So maybe there's just too many people too busy to make a totally new game. It'd be awesome to at least see some like Nintendo Switch ports for some of the PVZ games we know and love. Like I would really like to see a PVZ one or even PVZ two or maybe like both in one, a super port of Plants vs Zombies one and two for the Switch, and of course Battle for Neighborville, Garden Warfare would be cool to see on the Switch. I don't know if it's too late for those games though, you know, but it would totally revitalize them in a way, in a way because the Switch player base is so huge and always so hungry for new games like that, you know. There we go. I was able to put a stop to him for at least a little bit. There we go. Took me a second to pop out of that one. Uh, okay, I didn't get exploded by that. That's good at the least. Oh, he picked the battery back up. I almost got him though. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to stop him in time, but I'm certainly gonna try. Uh, playing at risky, the computer players are too good. They just see me and just instantly take me out. There are too many Citrons on their team now. It's just crazy. They only have to deliver one more battery. I've been trying to fight back, but I just don't know if it's gonna happen. I, I don't think so at this point. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. 
Hmm. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Let's toss that down there a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, at the least what I can do is get as many vanquishes as possible. That's, okay, there we go, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, and they got me. <laughs> so we're doing a little bit of back and forth here, but so far not too bad. All right, so. Hmm. Got an acorn oak coming in. And maybe put a stop to him, but there is the last battery they need walking right past us. Oh, come on, we can get him, we can get him. Got him. Oh, that kernel corn really got me there. But we're doing pretty well. Again, we're top vanquisher on our team, not too far from top vanquisher in general. I don't feel like I need top vanquisher here. I just would like to move forward with it a little bit, get as close as I can, and there we go. The plants win, so we only got one win and two losses. Sort of stinks to see that, but we still put in some good effort and got some good progress done. So we're gonna head back to Giddy Park now and uh, maybe spend some prize bulbs off the wait and see. So there was our look at the, what is this one called again? This is the Crazy Colossus Imp. I really liked it. Lots of fun checking it out and you know, it's a shame to see this event go. We still have one more thing technically to showcase in this event. It was the um, EDM Martian hat for the electric slide. We'll be showcasing that next episode. That was a challenge reward. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.